Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. Brad here, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing the second part of the Oghum Infinium uh, video. I did the first part recently and posted that, and that was going through Altafod and eventually reaching Blackreach, where you transcribe the lexicon and get the Elder Scroll. You're going to have to do that anyway at some point in the main mission. I'm just doing that ahead of time. In this next part, you have to gather blood of Dwemer and in order to open the vault. And I scouted out the location Liar's Retreat before. Otherwise, you'll wander all over Tamriel killing orcs and other character, creatures, whatever, races, and trying to gather the blood. Liar's Retreat has uh, beings of various races that you will need, and it's the easiest way to gather the blood, except for a high elf, which um, I'll show you how to do that as part of this as well. In order to start part two, you have to return to Septimus and his outpost and talk to him. And then you'll get more advanced instructions and a way to gather the blood. Again, Liar's Retreat is the best place to do it. And let's get on with talking to Septimus. The top level was built. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora, I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two for the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening. Okay, now you get to meet Herminius more. Once you go to gather the blood, which is, as I said, Liar's Retreat is the easiest place to do so. Come closer, bask in my presence. I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. 
most impressive. Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Indeed, speak with me when the box has been opened and all shall be revealed. One of the things you want to do when you play Skyrim is to actually explore the area. You don't have to enter places you find, but exploring ahead of time and opening up the locations is, again, a easy way to then fast travel to a certain location. You have to harvest all these blood. Well, again... I scouted ahead to Liar's Retreat, which is right around here, and it's a cave where, let's see, there we go, Liar's Retreat, and yeah, once I scouted it out, now I can fast travel and enter the place and gather up pretty much all the blood I'm going to need. Now, Liar's Retreat, Falmore had invaded because they stumbled upon this area where bad guys hide and bandits hide. And, well, it can be very interesting here, especially a battle. Once you enter, you want to sneak down and try and get the element of surprise. Once that's over, the Falmore are going to swarm you. And they can be extremely tough. Like right now, I'm trying to get kill a few using sneaky stuff and hopefully, again, get the element of surprise here. Element of surprise over. This is going to be a very intense battle. You want to narrow the battle area and get them to come up to you on, on the steps and they will swarm you. This is going to be intense. Heal often, heal quickly.
that that battle is over, this is where you can gather blood. Harvest the blood, and now you have a Falmore. And you can then go to the dead bandits in this area and harvest their blood. Like, up here, I'm going to gather up the stuff from the Falmore. I'll fast forward through it and get to the blood gathering. I also leveled up. Now let's go to this guy and this will tell you if you need to gather blood. And you can harvest the blood of this bandit and you have wood elf blood. Again, you go around to these bandits, you'll end up with all but the high elf blood that you need. And one of the things I forgot was I could return to Ultifad and Bailey on the table is a high elf and gather her blood, but instead I chose a little more, how shall I say, difficult method. So I'll fast forward through this. Um, the next blood you'll probably gather is Orc. So let's see if this bandit, nah, again I'll do a little fast forwarding here. This lock is easy to open and here you will encounter uh, a very scared orc who attacks you immediately and you can fight him and take him down and gather his blood for the um what you really need and there you go you harvested the orc blood there are several other smaller rooms to explore I'm going to fast forward to the next important part. This is where the Falmor broke through and attacked the bandits. Now I'm going to go through and knock that brick over and then sneak in and hopefully catch the fall more, ah, harvest some more blood, and yeah, I'm going to sneak through and hopefully catch the fall more by surprise here. Okay, that didn't work out very well. Um, I'll fast forward a little more. There's some little bit of fighting and some other stuff that not necessary. And again, I'll fast forward through to the next important part. Okay, you come around this corner and depending on how you do things, you're going to face heavy fall more resistance. And I got the Gloom lurk Lurker shot. Uh, let's see. I can't get him. But I've got the Falmore aroused and upset. And let's see if I can draw them out. I don't see anything happening. They're looking around for me. There's that guy. And here he comes. Let's see if I can draw him out toward me. Yes, I can. I shoot him. Yeah, he, oh, this magic stuff. I'm going around the corner, and let's see if I can take these Falmer out. Well, they aren't coming after me, so let's see if I can get them to come at me again. Uh, nah, they are not buying it, so I may have to uh, do something else here.
I'll switch to the bow. Some guy is shooting at me, so let's see if I can shoot him. And ebony bow, and I'm gonna poison the bow. I think, yeah. Let's poison right here and see if I can hit the guy. There he is. I think I hit him. Okay, he went down. Now I got to deal with the Gloom Lurker, and this guy is down. And there's another guy I got to take down here. And let's see what happens if oh, he might disappear. Paralysis Poison. Let's see if I can see him. Nah. I might have to waste a couple arrows here. And yeah, this is getting to be long. Now I've got someone drawn out here. And let's see if I can take him down without getting killed myself. Ooh, he's a pretty good shot. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to try this lingering poison and hit him. And again, this is just an arrow battle here. Hopefully I win, and it looks like I'm going to win, and again, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Here you have holding pens where the Falmore put their victims to torture them and antagonize them, and once the victims escape, well, they come after you, and you have to fight the bandits that you essentially rescued. No gratitude. Yeah, who would have thought? No gratitude. I'm going to gather more ingredients and move forward here a little bit with a battle with the bandits. Just some more ingredient gathering. I'm just going to fast forward to the next major event. Okay, this is the area where you're going to face some serious resistance. You want to attack that flying Charis or whatever it is. And let's see. Poison paralysis to see if this works. Or venom. And, you, yep, the Charis Hunter. That's a mutated form of a Charis. This Night Prowler is going to come at me. Um, switch back to swords and battle it out. That was fairly intense. Now I'm going to gather up some ingredients and we're going to walk over to the area where these creatures were. And after I gather some mushrooms here, yeah, like I said, alchemy is a very, very necessary skill. Now you come here and you notice a guy is on an altar. This is Longhammer and he was leader of the bandits and he has a special weapon the long hammer which is weighted for a faster swing it doesn't do any more damage it just is a more rapid uh how shall i say swinging hammer and now i'm going to gather up ingredients i'll fast forward to again the next most important part
inside this area where Longhammer is located is kind of this Dwemer lockup and gears, and there are a ton of Charis eggs. So, yeah, you can uh, make lots of nasty little poisons and stuff with the Charis egg. It's called Damage Magic Regen, and it's a very valuable potion. I'm going to continue gathering ingredients, so I'm just going to fast forward again to the next important part. Hey, Longhammer, set us up with a round of... What in oblivion happened in here? Some other bandits enter Liar's Retreat, and they're wondering what has happened. Yeah, now you can try and take them out. This guy goes down quickly. The bandit leader is going to be a little more, how shall I say, difficult. If you can take the other people down using your sneaky method and um, sniping, well, hey, all the better. It may end up having to be... A fight. The bandit chief now knows possibly your location. Yeah, they're running around. I think they're confused. And uh, yeah, I've been detected. This is going to be a battle with weapons and against the bandit chief. And now Liar's Retreat is technically cleared. As I said, this is the easiest place to go to gather blood, except for High Elf blood, which I will show you uh, how to get it. Uh, I kind of screwed up and did it the hard way. I could have returned back to Altafad, where Valis, or Vali, or whatever her name was, is on the table, and she's a High Elf. And you can still gather her blood, but I digress, and now I'll show you how to get high elf blood. Okay, I did some healing and an attempt to unencumber myself a little bit. I have to harvest the high elf blood, so let's get out of Liar's Retreat, and I'll show you the hard way to get the High Elf Blood. Now, if you walk around Solitude and even Markarth, you'll come across the Thalmor Justicars. And you don't want them, well, you want to fight them because, gee, you're going to need the High Elf Blood. And this is the hard part. Like I said, I could have just gone back to Ultifod and Bailey and harvested her blood and been done with this. But, ah, it's more fun fighting the Justicars. Walk away, now. Don't you stay. Now that they're dead, you get some neat elven equipment. Uh, the prisoner is running for his life. And well, hey, you got to bring this thing back to Septimus. I've got the last blood I need. So let's get on to bringing this back to Septimus. Dig. 
I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Okay, based on your choice, the Agam Infinium allows you to raise up your character. The Path of Might, the Path of Shadow, and the Path of Magic. In other words, a fighter, a thief, or a mage. And it raises up your skill sets that are required for that discipline by a certain level. I believe five levels. And allows your character to level up several levels depending on whether you're a higher level character or a lower level character. Now I'll show you the effects of the Oghem Infinium once I read it and take the Path of Might. Now, as you see, my skill sets were rapidly raised, and now the character can level up, let's see, health, stamina, health, uh, stamina, magic. I think I can level up a couple levels because my character is already 36 level, well, two levels, not too bad, and you can spend the perk points either way. Uh, yeah. You can see the Augum Infinium raised up the character levels pretty high. And this is the end of part two of the Augum Infinium. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Hit the like button, leave some comments. If you like this type of video, I post four a week and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and you will be notified when I post, and my postings will be put into your home feed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.
Thank you.